Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. This is my second video tutorial on functional interface in Java 8. So in previous tutorial we had seen couple of example and we have discussed uh, what is functional interface in Java 8. Now with respect to functional interface we need to keep some of the points in mind like these are the points I have collected. Now first point we have functional interface also called single abstract method interface or in short cut you can say SAM interface. The interface can also declare uh, the abstract methods from the java.lang.object class but still the interface can be called as a functional interface. So let me show you. Uh, if you go to the existing JDK and if you look into the uh, like uh, comparator interface uh, not comparator but com uh, yeah comparator this is comparable so comparator interface you can see comparator interface is annotated as a functional interface right if you go inside the comparator interface then you will have one abstract method is called compare right and another abstract method you have again equals but this method is getting inherited from the java.lang.object class so if you have a functional interface then you will have only one abstract method right uh, but still you have you have option to add or declare uh, object class method still your interface would be considered as a functional interface right so this is the one of the i mean example where you can see there are two abstract method but one of the abstract method is belong for the specific to comparator interface but one of the method belongs to the uh, object class still this is considered as a uh, functional interface that's the point i want to discuss so that's all about the second point now once you add another abstract method to the interface then the compiler or ID will flag it is an error if let me show you if you have declared a method as functional interface suppose you have declared a interface like my interface and this interface if you have declared as functional interface then this is showing error because functional interface contains at least one not at least but one and only abstract, one abstract method so once I add one abstract method like public abstract Word method one then this error will go away right so in interface when you declare a method then public and abstract is optional if you leave remove this one it's still implicitly these two uh, modifier is there now if you try to add another abstract method in this interface then compiler will flag an error right because you have declared this method as functional interface and you are trying to add two abstract method that's why this is uh, throwing an error right so your functional interface will contain always one abstract method so let's remove the second method and one more thing just go to the object class which is in java.lang package and this object class has a several method right like uh, you have a method like uh, hash code so if you declare hash code method in this interface still your functional interface is now still this is not showing any error because this method belongs to your object class method even you can declare uh, some other method like equals method you have also so this method also you can declare in this functional interface still 
this is not breaking the contract of functional interface right so methods from the object class still you can add in functional interface still your uh, functional interface is uh, contract of functional interface is not going to uh, broken so that these things you will have to keep in mind but you cannot add any other abstract method in your functional interface so if you look into the existing uh, JDK interface like comparator in comparator we have a compare method and we have a equals method right that's the reason this method belongs to the object class still so you can see this method this interface has a declared as a functional interface because uh, this is not considering as a uh, I mean this is this is this this method is belongs to the object class that's the if any object class object if any uh, any class implements this interface then that uh, class has to implement only this method compiler will not force to implement this method because every class for every class object is the super class and implementation of this equal is already present in the object class right so you can see you go to the object and here implementation of object equals method is there itself right so this implementation will be inherited to the uh, implementer class that's the reason the compiler will not force uh, to implement equals method when any class implements comparator interface now let's go to the next point uh, now next point we have a interface can extend another interface and in case the interface it is extending the functional interface and it does not declare any new abstract method then the new interface is also also functional interface but so up to this point let's try to understand through an example so if I go to the my clips and here if I so let's create an interface one new interface and let's get interface one and I would declare this interface as a functional interface and now compiler is throwing an error saying that you will have to add at least one method right so I'm going to add one abstract method and this error is going away because criteria to criteria for functional interface at least your interface should contain uh, your interface should contain only one abstract method and this criteria is going to fulfill so your error has gone away now I'm going to uh, create another interface with name my interface 2 and so it's not package but, but interface new uh, interface and I'll give the interface name interface 2 and interface 2 extend another interface that is called interface my interface 1 so in this case this interface also you can declare as functional interface and error is not throwing uh, compiler is not forcing you to okay so at least is this one here okay I haven't saved these things that's why this is throwing error now even though I have annotated my interface to as functional interface still compiler is not forcing me to add one more method because this interface is extended this interface and this interface is already functional interface so interface 2 is also considered as a functional interface so that that's the point here I wanted to point out interface can contain another interface and in case the interface it is extending the functional interface and it does not declare any new abstract method then new interface is also functional interface so I hope you are very clear on this now but an interface can have one abstract method and any number of default methods and the interface would be still called a functional interface so if you look into the JDK like you have a 
comparator and comparable interface right so look at the comparable interface in comparable interface you have a compare method right so you have only one uh, method so this this interface can can consider as a functional interface even though uh, before this in uh, before this uh, interface there is no uh, uh, there is no at the rate functional interface still this is considered as a functional interface but if you look into the comparator interface then this is annotated as at the functional interface and here you have a uh, one method that is abstract this method is abstract but this belongs to the object class but this interface contains a lot of uh, i mean default default method right so as we have discussed in earlier video tutorial uh, our interface can contains default method means default method means you can define method inside the interface so here you can have a, a, as many as you want to define the default method you can right so there are a lot of default methods look at here a oh, lot of default method if you press ctrl o then wherever you see a a means abstract method d there is a small sim this there is a symbol is called d means default method and you can see s s means a static method so in earlier video tutorial we had discussed we in from java 8 onwards we can add a static method in interface so this is the one of the best example so look at the there are a lot of a static method in comparator interface so wherever you see s marker means these are a static method so if you click over here so a static method right so that's the point i wanted to point out over here now next point where list of functional interfaces defined in java.util.function interfaces so if you go go to the jdk and if you search for so search for the one of the famous interface is called consumer press ctrl shift t and search for consumer and look at the this package java.util.function so this basically in jdk you can find lot of interfaces from different packages and those interfaces are functional interfaces but uh, this this package if you look into this package java.util.function so there are a lot of interfaces and all interfaces are here functional interfaces in this package so if you click on the any of uh, interface then you can see this interface is annotated as a functional interface so, so next series of video tutorial will talk about the um, these interfaces so and we will have a lot of practical example as well now next point only one abstract method is allowed in any functional interface second abstract method is not permitted in the functional interface if we remove at the rate func functional interface that should be functional functional interface annotation then we are allowed to add another abstract method but it will make the interface non-functional interface so these things you will have to keep in mind so you can define functional interface by annotating it as at the rate functional interface if you do not define at the rate functional interface then you may add one more than one abstract method but once you add more than one one uh, abstract method then your uh, your interface is not any more functional interface so these things you will have to keep in mind but if your your interface is annotated as at the rate functional interface and if you try to add more than one method abstract method that compiler will flag an error now next point a uh, functional interface is valid even if at the rate functional interface annotation would be omitted or if, if you remove this at the rate functional interface before the interface and your interface contains only one abstract method still your interface would be considered as a functional interface it is only for the informing the compiler to enforce single abstract method inside interface so for accidental mistake to avoid the accidental mixer, uh, mistake uh, compiler uh, java has provided at the rate functional interfaces so these things you will have to keep in mind so i am running out of time so rest of the things i will discuss in the next video tutorial and see you there in next video tutorial thanks for watching this video